Hello, everyone out there on Podcast World. I hope you're having a wonderful day. You're listening to or watching a Service Business Mastery Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Tersh Blissett, sitting virtually next to my co-host, Joshua Crouch. And uh, if you've never listened to or watched this podcast, uh, it's a podcast based on home service businesses, the skilled trades. Uh, we focus a lot on HVAC, plumbing, electrical, but we also talk to landscapers and everything else in between and anybody that services uh, the residential homes and like commercial uh, we talk about the business side of things, uh, not so much technical stuff, uh, but any anybody who's a business owner, a service tech or a manager who's considering becoming a business owner themselves, uh, we our target with this podcast is to help answer some unasked questions that you may have or questions that you've forgotten uh, over the years. So uh, with that being said, I'm super excited to talk. Uh, t- today's not our normal schedule. We normally are always on Wednesdays and today's Thursday that we're recording this and uh <clears throat> I mean, I'm super excited to, to talk to Danielle. She's a, a multiple time guest on the show and uh, we always have great conversations. I think one of the, the funniest shows was when we we had uh, the cat lady on. Cat jokes. <laughs> we had a great time. I still remember that to this day. That was like, it was right before AHR opened. It was early so like in the morning, like se- seven o'clock in the morning, which is not me. It woke us up, that's for sure. <laughs> we had a great time. But we also we have uh, Jim <clears throat> Henshaw. Uh, he's the VP of Sales with uh, Service Nation. And um, uh, Danielle Putnam is uh, with the new flat rate. And if you if you don't know who she is, we'll do introductions once they come on. Uh, but I'm super excited to talk. They The Business Uncensored, I was at the event last year and we did some live streaming at the event and did some recording. Um, and it was a really awesome event and we had a great time, but this year they're partnered up with, uh, service nation for the, uh, the service world expo. Man, I got you. thank you. I'm like, <laughs> what did Julie put in that coffee? Right? <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. They're, so they're partnered up this year. Um, the event is October 3rd through the 6th. It's going to be in Phoenix, Arizona, so about forty minutes for me, which is great. So I don't have to I don't have to fly, and Turch gets to stay at our house. <laughs> um, but it's going to be really cool. It's going to I mean, pretty much going to be a week long, but there's going to be different elements because Business Uncensored isn't exactly what Service World is, and Service World isn't exactly what Business Uncensored is. So it's going to be a nice combination for those who want to get both the education and knowledge, and then also see the vendors and the, everything that goes on with the expo. Is that it, Josh? That's just it. Stopped. No, I'm done. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Are we, are we done? No, let's get started. But really, <laughs> first, I want to say a huge shout out to everybody that makes this show possible. Uh, Upfrog, and I was actually I've been working on my Upfrog account uh, today, and Josh has seen me. He's in a group chat with Justin and Noah. I've been asking questions and stuff, and it's really cool uh, putting the pricing online. I think it's a really awesome concept, and I've never. I haven't done it. I, I mean, I've always been messing around with it, but I haven't actually done it. Um, and so I've been working on that. And uh, then the uh, reactivation of clients and reengaging the clients uh, through automation and AI is really cool. Uh, but that's uh, we should uh, one of the next things we should do because uh, Google's changing what you can do with products in your Google My Business. I read I won't get that. Into this I read that this morning. So, but they are trying to put more product related things in the search results, which if you are offering online pricing and products and things like that, you might be able to get some of that stuff on page one. We don't know what that looks like yet, but it's, it is cool. It is changing like everything with Google. It's always changing. Um, yeah. But have, being upfront about your pricing is definitely something Google's pushing for. Yeah. So whether, whether you love it or you hate it, it's coming, it's coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's here. So uh, yeah, with that being said, it's Sarah. We're on boarding with Sarah as well. So, Everybody, everybody actually that's a sponsor of the show that partnered with us. Uh, I've, I've. Church is like the easiest sale ever. <laughs> like you just come on the show. So anyone who wants to sell church anything, just come on our show as a guest. And he's probably going to buy it from you. Uh, and I, because I, I see the emails with our guests and stuff and I'm like, oh, Church's probably going to buy that too. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Josh. That's yeah, That's you're welcome. welcome. I called you. <laughs> uh, Sarah, <laughs> Billy, and the team over at Sarah they're they're great. We've on, we're onboarded. We go live next week, I think, with Sarah. Um, they're a CRM platform, and um, what can I say? It's just a simple process. It's very if it's if it's difficult, it's not in the program. And there's times where I get very frustrated with other CRMs where you have to do like twelve different clicks to find something, and that's just not the case with Sarah. But 
Uh, you want to talk about the last two since I talked about the first two? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Emerson is our, our newest partner of the show. Um, and we have some great conversations with them at the AHR Expo this this last year about giving back to the community, getting back involved, getting your local community pushing the trades. Because we all know, uh, and we're going to make a, a little announcement here later about AI and some other things that are going on, but AI is going to push a lot of different more so in the white collar segment of things, some of those jobs are probably going to go away. They, they might change, but getting getting the word out there that you can make a great living in the trades and also enjoy it, I think is really important. And Emerson has some great um, great resources to help you do that. And training. So um, definitely check that episode out. We put some stuff in the show notes of that one. And then uh, Company Cam. Company Cam has been a, been a partner for a while now, and they just do a great job as a digital asset management solution. I I talk to contractors all the time. They don't have a system to save their photos, save their videos. It's on people's phones. It's on their tablets. It's sitting in a a desktop computer somewhere. That's only accessible to one person. Company cam centralizes all that stuff. So you can repurpose it, make before and afters. You can put it on your website. You can make Google my business posts, social media posts. Like, it opens up the door for you to really expand your marketing and to show your market what you're able to do. Yeah. Very good, Josh. You did a great job. I almost practiced that. Are you looking for valuable business advice to reach that seven-figure revenue mark? Do you want actionable tips to properly navigate through every business challenge you encounter along the way? Let Tersh Blissett and Josh Crouch be your guide in getting you to the top here at Service Business Mastery. Tune in as they sit down with world-renowned authors in business, leadership, and personal growth who share valuable insights about management, marketing, pricing, human resources, and so much more. Let their nuggets of wisdom gold guide you in owning a thriving, profitable, and ever-growing business. Here are your hosts, Tersh and Josh. Hey, welcome to the show, guys. You guys are so cool. <laughs> you guys rock. Our wives don't think so. No, but how about this? Do you see what, what Julie, the comment Julie made in Facebook? It was per, <laughs> early in the morning. <clears throat> Talking about the cat puns. <clears throat> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that was one of our most fun episodes. Like, literally, that was, I, I don't think I've laughed harder in an episode with just trying to catch the cat puns when she was saying them. <laughs> Is Rosalind. Yeah, right? and Rosalind's just yeah, so fun, right? right away. Well, I know, and she's the best. And so then my brother stole her from me, right? And so now she's working at I an HVAC company. For a company. Yeah, and he calls me. He's like, hey, Danielle, I just wanted to let you know, um, Rosalind's going to come start working for me because if I'm going to get to the next level in my business, I have to have a Rosalind on my team. I'm like, duh, that's why she was on my team. <laughs> and he took her. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> So for, for those who are listening um, and don't know who uh, you two are, would you mind taking a second and introduce yourself? Go ahead, Danielle. Thanks. Well, hey, guys, thanks so much for having us. It's a big deal that we're here. We really appreciate it. And my name is Danielle Putnam. I'm the president of the New Flat Rate. We do menu pricing. We also do a lot of coaching and training, a lot of ride-alongs with techs all across the U.S. and Canada. And our annual business conference is called Business Uncensored. This used to be a members-only event, and then we opened it up to the public. And this year, the reason we're all here to talk today is because we have partnered with Service World Expo to bring you one big, wonderful, incredible event, a two-for-one. And so that's uh, that's who I am and why I'm here. That you really undervalued that that was a very undervalued introduction just by by the way uh former president of the women hvacr uh 40 under 40 like we could go on for like hours with (laughs) thank you appreciate that absolutely mr jim how about you so i'm jim henshaw vice president of sales at service nation we're a group of consultants that work with the trades um it was founded uh 20 Three years ago, uh, Matt, Michelle, David Heimer, they retired January this year. And we are, uh, we've got several thousand members. Can I just say it that way? It, yeah. I don't have to say the number, do I? Uh, <laughs> couple hundred thousand. How about that? A couple hundred thousand members. We're, we're thrilled to be here. 
And, and literally, I've, I've known Danielle for years, mm-hmm. worked with her uh, in a consulting business back in the day, and she sets the bar high mm-hmm. for doing what needs to be done for a business owner today, helping improve sales, profitability, and all those things. And we're in that same category. And so when we started thinking about, wow, what if we did a one big conference together that would have a draw that's amazing, that's much better than either one of us could do on our own. So Mm -hmm. that's what we've done. And we've combined forces to put together a conference that's going to end all conferences. And I know, Josh, there's a lot of competition out there, right? Yeah, look at these other guys (laughs) springing up from nowhere. Oh, hey, we're well. I can just tell you that ours is a very big conference. And, and Danielle, I'm thinking we're going to have probably in the neighborhood of 2,000 attendees. So it's, yeah. it's, at, the, it's at the convention center. You, awesome. 2,500, 3,000, yeah. maybe. Well, now that you're on our podcast, this going to be like three for sure. I know. There it is. I didn't count yours yet. Okay, so that's three plus <laughs> the four that we already had. Yeah, there seven, we maybe, I don't know. Do we have that many listeners? I don't even know. <laughs> So I will, I will give a huge plug to Josh and, um, his, his crew that push out the podcast. We have, um, we're averaging just under 120,000 downloads a month right now, Wow, which is crazy. That's that's completely different than it was two years ago, three years ago. That's exciting. Good job guys. That was the only reason I'm here. It is really (laughs) truthfully. (laughs) I like it. <laughs> that in your face. <clears throat> uh, I have a face for radio, so <laughs> that's what my mom always tells always. me, anyways. <laughs> it's so awesome you guys did that because, like, we talked about it a little bit before, and it's it, some of it's in jest, but mm-hmm. the fact that two conferences, like, instead of just like, well, no, I'll just grow my own thing, right? Like, it's that ego thing, but instead of you, you guys decided to partner together because it's best for the attendees to get the value of both the speakers and, and what you guys put on for your show. And I think that's really cool that you guys were able to well, put something yeah. together. That's the best logistically, view of you, Josh, right there. <laughs> <probably> <laughs> well, well, can I finish what he's saying? Josh is right. You know, we, we were actually being, you know, Jim and, and myself and then our companies have been friends for such a long time that yeah. we would consider each other's calendars. It's like, oh, wait, we can't have BU the same time as SWE. You know, and so we'd check with each other. When's right. your event? When's our event? And then our members were constantly saying, and probably yours too, Jim, well, which event can I go to? Because I can only be away from my business for so long. And there they're two is. weeks apart, right? And it was inconvenient for people, mm-hmm. but yet people wanted to go to both. And then last year, the big complaint from everybody, it's hunting season. Why are you guys having these shows in hunting season? <laughs> right? Yeah. Welcome yeah. to South Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and so we, we listened, right? We took all that into consideration and we're like, yeah, yeah, really, what are we doing? Why don't we do something together? And what would that look like? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jim, really quick. Again, will you tell us the dates and location? It's going to be in lovely Phoenix, Arizona at the convention center, third through the sixth. Um, actually, I think it's okay to say this. We're doing a, a Joseph Grow Foundation golf tournament on Monday the 2nd. And it's a shotgun start. Start off about 8.30 or 9. Uh, be done around 2, 2.30. It's for a great, if you don't know Joseph Grow, G-R-O-H. You can Google it. And he's got a foundation that helps people that have been in the trades, almost any trade, that are incapacitated with some life-changing disease or an accident. Now Neither you one. talk about, um, like I, I'm, I, I consider myself a manly man. Like I, yeah. I'm just one of those guys that's very yeah. stoic and I just hang out in the corner. Like that's me. You're like the girliest manly shush, man. Shush, I've ever shush, met. Shush, shush. Be quiet. <laughs> but whenever that video came on last year at service world, I was like, Oh gosh, I got to leave. Like oh, I can't watch people no, that was a tear I still remember the one two years ago. Like I vividly remember <clears throat> the story and everything that was put together. Like it was incredible what <clears throat> that foundation did for that family. Yeah, uh, it's such a such a cool thing to be able to kind of help one of our own, right? Okay. Like help someone that has given their life to the trades, and yep. they just something happens, an accident, uh, just. It's really cool that that foundation exists. So what's <laughs> happened in, in this year, we've now passed the $1 million mark in terms of wow. funding 
for recipients. Okay, and we're now we've got 30 states represented. That's the number of states that we've been involved in with recipients, coast to coast, wow. California to New York. So it's really uh, been an exciting time. Yeah. Um, Danielle, is it okay to say this? Is it? Okay? I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't know what you're going to say. Well, <laughs> Oh boy. So we had our international roundtable event in Nashville just in April. Okay. And so they thought the Joseph Grow Foundation said, well, you know, what would be fun is to auction off some stuff, right? Mm -hmm. They auctioned me off. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much did you raise? I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a guy. I've got this. I've got this. Is not a, this is not a dress <laughs> rehearsal, it's live. So Jerry Kelly. Right there in St. Charles, Missouri, he went ahead and put up $8,500 payable to the Joseph Rowe Foundation, not to me. Wow. And I came in for a full day of training with their techs and their office staff. That's wow. very cool. Excellent. It was just <laughs> such a great event. And they are great people. Yeah. Had 16 technicians there. Shut down the service department for the whole day. So it was just That's fun. exciting. That's cool. And it, awesome. All it's so cool to hear stories like that mm -hmm. in the trades because, you know, like, when you're involved in the day to day and you're on these Facebook groups and stuff, it's just like some of the negativity oh, oh, that surrounds our trade and the stuff that happens sucks you in. And yeah. to, to see this and hear this stuff happen really shines a bright light on just how great the people are in our community. Yeah. So we ended up at that event, uh, I think we gained $33,000 in contributions. Um, so we're looking at even more for. Wow the event in Phoenix and, and we're excited mm -hmm. about it. It's a very, that's, that's our foundation of choice mm -hmm. for the service nation always has been. So yeah, it's a great, great thing. Yeah. It's a golf tournament. And I don't know the details. So Josh asked me earlier, where's it going to be held? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> do you but know where, really they, do, where they can get signed up? They can, they can get signed up on our, we've got a website, serviceworldexpo.com. And there you can go and see the schedule and register for things, including the conference. You can register for the conference. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, if you go to the website, it's right at the top <clears throat> the top right hand side, it's big colorful button that says register. Good. So if you Perfect. can't miss it. Perfect. But just check out the check out the website for that. You can register for the golf event, you can register for yep. the event itself. Um, and Phoenix in October is still a little warm, but it's probably gonna be nicer than a lot of areas oh, of the country. So you're gonna go It's gonna be beautiful, Josh. Mm -hmm. Don't say a little warm. No, no, no. It's beautiful. It's millionaire weather. That's millionaire yeah. weather time yeah. where the millionaires go. Okay. Yeah. You know what I figured out about Phoenix? They don't know how to do winter. They, they don't have a clue well, here, man. how to do winter. It's like 330. Man, it's like 330 I was there days of and it was like 72 degrees outside. Yeah. And yeah. every place we went into had the heater on at 80. I was like, <laughs> y'all are killing me. Was, we went to Taco Bell the day we were leaving Tucson and so we, Josh and I just like happened to go like, let's hit this Taco Bell on the way out of town. And we walked inside and I'm sitting there and I, I wear what I have on right now. I mean, mm -hmm. with a typically a jacket too. And I'm like, Josh, I got to come out of this. I'm sweating. Was, I literally had beads of sweat rolling off it my head. Warm. That was so, so hot. It was terrible. Like, but yeah, they're not October used to should that. be a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I, I want to piggyback onto that, Jim, because I think everybody needs to go. This is plenty of notice. So if you're going to go out to BU and SWE, let's just go early together. Let's yep. all plan on golfing on Monday. Yep. Get all of your busyness out of your mind. Golf, hang out on the course, and then we can start our business conference on Tuesday together. But, uh, I mean, I'm going to play. Are you playing? Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm going to be there, Daniel. I'm going to be there. But <laughs> Don't be a chicken. <laughs> they ban me from the course. They go, no, we can't afford the cost and equipment. The damages. And occasionally, there's a golf cart that ends up in a lake. I don't, it had to have bad breaks. I don't know how. Tarsh is driving. It wasn't me. No, it wasn't, I was not. No, I was actually driving, but I, I got distracted. Okay, it was a squirrel. So, yeah. Yeah. ADDK. Jim, I have a, I'll be, I have a, Really quick, fun little golf story. I was at this, uh, I was speaking at this marketing workshop a couple weeks ago. And after the first day, it was up in Utah. We went to, um, oh goodness, the, golf? the big golf, the the big golf place where you just hit. It's, they play like games like Angry like Birds and stuff. Golf. Top, top, top golf. Top golf. Yeah. So I'm hitting there I'm, and I'm, I walk in. I was like, I'm just going to hit the ball as far as I can. I don't care about <laughs> these games. 
I'm like my fourth hit, and the driver head literally flies off the club oh, and goes about 100 yards. It went further than the ball. That's, it not, just flies. that's not how I've it's never supposed to do before. it. You're not supposed to do no, that. No, not sure that counts. No, and then the guy comes down. He's like, do you know where it went? I'm like, dude, that thing flew. Like, it's way out there. Like, your guy on the cart's going to have to pick that up because I have no idea. He's gone. She gone. Yeah. It was, it was fun. I've never had that happen wow. before. I, Used to play a lot of golf, and so I've never had a club break like that unless I intentionally broke it. <laughs> Whoa, this just turned yeah, into they, anger management. That was much younger than me. <laughs> that was a younger gray hair. Me. So, so, Daniel, let me ask you this question, Daniel. Um, first, first off, like who's going to be there talking? But then, how do we? Because sometimes we go to these conferences, like like we hung out a lot at AHR Expo and we bump into each other. And it's really funny because like we bumped into you and Rosalind at like 730 in the morning. And then we bump into you at like four o'clock in the afternoon. And physically, we look like just completely drained because of just the yeah. like abundance of information that's coming into us. Yeah. Um, how, how do you how do you avoid the overwhelm, but at the same time, like, do you look at a schedule and try and book it out? And like, cause I've done that before where I'm like, all right, here's the map. Here's the, the different speakers. Um, I'm going to go do X, Y, and Z. Uh, but then I get to talking to somebody and I'll stand out and like r- your dad, perfect mm-hmm. example, mm-hmm. stand out in the hallway the entire time of a, of a speaker <laughs> where we're just talking the whole time. And then mm-hmm. the people come out of the room. We're like, Oh, I guess I missed that one. <laughs> yeah you know i love the question a couple of years ago and i've said this before i went to a show and i skipped out and i went jet skiing in the middle of the day and <laughs> you know it was because i needed it right yeah. and yeah. so i think it's really important to look at these shows and pre-plan i want everybody listening to come to service world and business uncensored because i 1000 percent believe that they need to be there but it is important to think ahead of what you need and what your business needs, right? Sometimes you need to go golfing for a day and then hit a couple sessions and then go out with some buddies or hang out in the hall and visit with no guilt. You're yeah. there to learn what you need to make the relationships and the connections that you need for your business. And with the overwhelm, you can't do anything with that, right? Mm-hmm. Like you, you don't need to go to every single session. It's too much and you can't implement all of it unless you're Josh. Like yeah. everybody else can't implement it all, right? You, just, you so, stress yourself out almost. <laughs> you do. And then you feel guilty and it's kind of like a waste <clears throat> of time, right? So I think it's really important to look at it ahead of time. What I love about this event this year, Service World, of course, has an incredible expo hall. So they've got all your favorite vendors and new ones. And I keep saying, hey, can we shout out some new names on here? And they're like, no, you can't. I'm like, but people want to know. Yes, we can. <laughs> so there's a, there's going to be great vendor partners there in that expo hall. And that's where you can take your time and visit with companies and say, oh, okay, you know, what do you do? How can you help my business? And you can really learn some new things or maybe there's something specific you need. And then, of course, they've got the keynote. Look at this. I printed some pictures. So you hey. remember full time? Can you oh, see that yeah. in my background? Oh, so, so this guy right here, Richard Karn. He's going to be one of the keynotes, so that's going to be fun. And yeah. then this guy, Tommy Milo, yeah. Tommy he's Miller. one of the uh, well, Tommy. he's one of the one of the keynotes. You know, I see that guy literally like every day somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> Tommy. You know what? I just saw him on a webinar in the digital. Like it's, it was like a digital marketing thing, yeah. and he was on a webinar for that too. I'm like, God, this guy literally is everywhere. Yeah, he's right there in Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. I did yeah. this. I did this podcast with him a couple years ago. And I was like, uh, I guess I didn't know him that well. And we have this podcast and then he blows up and he's all over the place. And Mm -hmm. it's easy to look at him and think, oh, you know, life is just easy for him or he's this or he's that. But then if you pick up up his book, pick Mm -hmm. up his book and you cannot help but to love the guy. Because I was reading his book the other day and he's like, hey, if you don't know your numbers, that's okay. Let's start here. If you don't know, you know, how to dispatch, that's okay. Let's start here. What a great way to talk to people. (laughs) Right, I, I love the guy. Yeah. So, he's so he, he's so down to earth. I, I I had a conversation with him um, two years ago. We just happened to hang out in a in a, in the expo hall at an expo, and we just yeah. hung out and talked. And I was like, "How do you?" Because I I am of the the thought process of uh, the Angie's List, the home advisors, you just get sucked in, you lose money on it. Like, unless you like truly know what to do. 
man, he just, he was like, oh, well, this is how you do it. Just go this, 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 this. I'm like, yeah. man, you just made that sound so simple. Yes. <laughs> it's crazy. Yes. So he's, he's one to know. So definitely come and spend some time with him there. And then I know that there's going to be another keynote that I haven't been allowed to know who it is yet. It's like super secret. Jim, do you know? I can't tell you. <laughs> That's funny. So, I'll, I'll, You'll just have to come and see. Okay. That's You're right. That's right. Wow. So there's, there's another super secret keynote, uh, you know, and then we've got our breakouts. And so we've yep. got some, some great breakouts, right? And that's what you're used to with Service World. So now with the combination of Business Uncensored, Business Uncensored is a high level business owners conference and for their implementers. And so what we say is, hey, as the owner, come, be prepared to learn more for your how to run your business, but bring your implementer because yeah. you can't yeah. implement everything that you learn. So bring somebody with you. So what is so awesome I mean, stop me if I'm talking too much, guys, but I have to say this. So don't stop me yet. But the two for one, okay? You get one price, gets you a full all access pass into everything that you need. So you can go to Business Uncensored conference uh, sessions and you go into, you know, uh, breakout rooms. And of course, you get the keynotes and the general sessions for SWE all under one access badge, one price point. You get everything. So it is the time to bring somebody else from your company, bring more people with you, bring your implementers, bring some, you know, maybe some service managers and some technicians and CSRs. Bring more people on your team because we've made it so affordable for you to be able to all be there together and gain more value. In the Business Uncensored room, everybody's welcome. You don't have to be a new flat rate member. And so just take a look at the schedule, look at our sessions and our topics and look at the service world breakouts and those sessions and topics and plan which ones do you need in your business. And and just to, to jump on that comment right there, it's it's okay to go back and forth. Mm -hmm. You don't have to spend all day in business and center or all day in the expo. You can do yeah. one session, another session, go back and forth. I think there's a, there's a, is it is this a word plethora a plethora of, i like it plethora plethora that's it i knew that i was a made out model i mean whatever. we got it <laughs> we'll go with a lot of topics yeah. okay a lot of topics that are available that can help your business no matter what level and that's one of the things that we're doing different this year is our breakout sessions are going to be designed in four different levels zero to one million one million to three. Oh, that's cool five million up ten million up so you got an idea. Well, that's you're interesting. A Ten million dollar company. Your needs and the things you're thinking about are far different from the guy doing a million two. Okay. Yeah. Not that they're any better. They're just different. Yeah. So I really like that idea. We're going to have breakout okay. sessions designed for each one of those ages or each one of those levels yeah. of membership uh, in your business, so you can say, okay, cool. yeah, I need to find out more about advertising, and I'm doing three and a half million. Then you've got a, a target to go to to hear about advertising for your level of business. It's yeah. It's so often that we talk to people and they're at like, we're at 50 million. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, our audience, the audience that's listening may be at, they just started out and they're at 500,000. Like that's really cool to listen to. And, and I love the idea of dreaming of 50 million, yeah. but I need, I need 550,000. I can't get out of my truck right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. The, the, the guy at 50, the, the company at 50 million has got a whole different set of problems mm -hmm. than yeah. the person that's at 500,000. So it's really cool that you guys have split that up. Yeah. We're on the street is supposedly we're talking about something. Tersh and I. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. That sucks to be done. I think there's a chance of that. <laughs> no, 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 you, uh, oh, you're, you're plugging yourself and I haven't even gotten to it yet. I am what? so excited. Josh says that he's, well, I mean, he's plugging himself, I'm right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, how do you not know? Uh, yeah. I'm Surprise, Tersh. <laughs> <laughs> so Tersh and Josh have agreed to do a session. They're going to be on the business uncensored stage talking about the disruption of AI in the trades. Yeah. Oh, dun, dun, dun. Whoa. That's something we can nerd out for days on. Man. Yeah. We'll probably have to get Tersh, you're going to have to come to Phoenix early so we can <laughs> plan that. We got to re out. rehearse that one a couple of times and yeah. condense it down. It's funny because <laughs> obviously people that watch and listen to the show, like they, they see us get together, but Tersh and I like, well, he's really, he sends me TikToks all the time. He knows I don't watch TikToks. That's why I think he sends them to me. 
and he always sends me like the latest AI one and stuff like that. We're always just kind of joking back and forth. And then, of course, we we like to put some of this stuff together. Like, hey, look at what we created. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Yeah. Look at that. But um, there's so much noise mm-hmm. there is. about AI. Literally, mm-hmm. you can't spend one day without seeing it in the news, seeing an email about it, seeing it on Facebook or whatever. You get, whatever it gets overwhelming. If we're, we were talking about Fire Hydrant at, at the expo, I mean, trying to learn AI at this point. Oh. can be a, just a, an overwhelming like a fire hydrant mm-hmm. of information itself <clears throat> yeah so we're we're gonna we're gonna try to bring it bring it to what should you focus on and what is a deep dark hole that you probably don't need to waste your time on because <laughs> trish and i probably wasted our time on it already mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> guaranteed it <laughs> but uh it's gonna be a lot of fun um i mean i know i know tersh has, has talked on a, a bigger stage before so this is kind of fun for me to get in front of an audience and have the nervous sweats and all that kind of stuff going on. And hopefully, hopefully you know, the, the, hopefully first we don't have time, too many the first time I ever got in front of a group of people, like ever in my life got in front of a group of people was at my high school graduation with 3000 people. And I sang wow. on the stage. Nah. First is there a time, video of this. I, there is somewhere, but I, Lord help us, please don't you share it. Fine, don't share it. Job. I'm going to, I'm going to talk to yeah. Julie. She, I don't think she's ever seen it. I don't, wow. That's why we're married. Cause <laughs> like uh, a solo or no, was it, it was, it was me and, and two other guys. Um, wow. we, yeah. Our graduations. I don't even know. Where did you go to high school? That's <clears throat> a huge high school. No, 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 not. That's not just the students. That was the parents and everybody. Oh. Okay. Like in the crowd. Still. Yeah. 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 I didn't know you could sing. Yeah. I think you should open with no, that actually. No, no, no. I, I, I instantly regret everything that I said the past 30 seconds. <laughs> I already got some social media. We got, uh, we got to erase that from your mind. Put that on Facebook right now. I cannot wait. Make sure Rita highlights this. You notes. guys have uh, to come. Everybody has to come because seriously, we'll put on your music and everything, Tersh. Oh gosh, we can do. I it. mean, you can just start a record deal. Yeah, okay. you can just start the session with your song. Nope. Mm-mm. Any song it doesn't have to be your song. It could be any song. Yeah. Uh, so what? Uh, what exactly is it going to be like going to the audience is speaking, yes, man? No, it's like, we're not doing that. We're going to change the subject the now. We're, so the difference between business uncensored and service uh, world expo, like what's? I guess Jim can kind of talk a little bit about the service world expo, son. Well, we, we end up, we've had a traditional model for us anyway, that said, well, let's, let's do some breakout sessions. Let's do some business sessions. Let's do some uh, sessions on sales, marketing, everything, whatever you want, you know, and, and we pull the, the members every year to say, what do you want to see? What do you want to hear? But, but this year we've done it a little bit differently in that we've segmented it by size of business. And that's unique. And the, and the second thing is, in the past, I don't, I don't ever want to be anything negative, okay? But in the past, we've had sometimes people that were up there to just to sell their stuff to the audience. Okay? Oh yeah, it's just a pitch fest. Yeah, and it, we get that on the podcast. Okay, okay. is it possible yeah. that can not, happen on a we podcast? Try to have people bring value because otherwise, yeah, it's, you know, that's what it sounds like. Yeah. Like people just want to sell their stuff. It's like. Well, give us some insights into like how they could do this for themselves exactly. or things like that. Like, mm-hmm. And it's okay to say we it, could yeah. use a tool like this, but to pitch it and mm-hmm. make that the whole core of your presentation, that's not going to happen. So we are guarding that particular aspect because that's happened in the past. So we're saying, no, no, it, it, you must demonstrate value and bring something to the table that it might involve your product, but in most cases, they're contractors who have done what they said they're going to do, who have done in some cases exited the business, but in many cases, they decided not to exit. They stayed in. Lou Habica, Habica Services is talking mm-hmm. a couple. Is it okay to say his name? I just did. Yes. So just, yes. Right, good, good. He's right here in the Phoenix area. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's right here. And he's a car guy too, which makes oh, him more awesome. Let me tell you. Yeah, he's got cars. He's got, mm-hmm. he's got a garage. <laughs> that had room for, I think, eight cars. And, and when he bought the 10th one, his wife said, are you crazy? He says, nope, I've got a rack. I can lift them up. And he does. He got them lifted up and parked underneath. So, yeah, he figured it out, and he's adding on to that garage. Nice. Right I'm sorry. I took a left turn there. I didn't mean that. But Lou Habica put a package together. He and his two brothers owned Habica Services, bought it from their dad, 
probably 25, 30 years ago, there came a time when they go, yeah, it's not time to do this anymore as three brothers. And so Lou said, let's go ahead and put a package together. And they sold the business, but he stayed. He stayed in as general managers. That, that was two years ago, still there, doing mm -hmm. a great job. I think they sold the service champions out of California. And so correct we got me, that Correct model. me if I'm wrong. Did, was he... Um was he a speaker on the virtual event, like in he 2020 was. or he something? Was. I remember yeah. that was a really good, uh, he it did was. a really good speak. Oh, let me tell you, you and again, it's one of those heart-rendering stories of how his dad was at the Battle of the Bulge, mm -hmm. and his dad took a bullet and, and thought he died. And it turned out the bullet was deflected by a New Testament that was in his upper pocket covered in sheet metal. Whoa. Well, about one of those irony things, he covered his in sheet metal because he's a heat and air guy. And wow. so he's got that testament to this day with a big dent on it. Wow. Where the bullet hit. Yeah, wow. I've seen the whiskey flask. So it takes it kind of to the opposite direction there. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's another <laughs> subject completely. But still. Was, so, yeah. That's he's really got cool. stories that are excellent. So we have that sort of situation. We've got another situation where we've got people that have sold out and left completely. And and what did they do? Well, they gave back to the industry. They became mentors of ours. We've got a bunch of coaches and, and things like that. We've got some that said, I don't want to sell. I want to keep mine forever. Renee Lucas right there in Indiana. She, Her goal is to have a business, and I'm going to talk about real numbers, that's in the 5 to $6 million range, which it is today, at a 24% net, which it is today. That's good numbers, right? Right. Oh, yeah. That's very healthy. Yeah. She travels five months out of the year. Five months. I've been noticing those pictures. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we, That's what she I'm was in a, a meeting we had recently, and a, a very arrogant guy says, why should I even listen to you? How much did you do last year? Well, five million. Well, yeah, I did eight. Why should I listen to you? And she goes, hey, we went to Spain this year. He goes, yeah, I've been to Spain. She goes, yeah, we stayed 12 weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll listen to you now. Maybe I should listen. And, like, how and I, you got how that I, net profit. Get away for that long. Yeah. Well, she's got a system in place. It enables yeah. that business to run just fine without her. They just got off a two-month tour of the United States, going from California yeah. back to New Jersey by car. And they traveled. Oh, uh, that sounds horrible. Well, I would no, murder everybody in the car. It's not. It's not. They'd for everybody, all be right. We chunk them out the window. Yeah. Apparently, her and Travis are <laughs> very compatible, and they ended up getting Must through be. it and had a ball. Must be. That's, that's and her real. goal is to extend that to six months. She says, "I want to spend half the time every mm -hmm. year on the road doing what I want to do, yeah, and still have my business generating and, and some money." She, and she'll be speaking there. She is. She is. So I'd love. I'd love to hear just what what she's using to monitor the everything while she's not there because our business uh, is is 100 percent remote we're oh yeah re remote yeah. and paperless and okay. so Good. like it's always thinking outside of the box whenever you come to operating a business when you're not physically on site so that's that's really interesting and cool that she did that yeah it's cool that we are contractors because I, I mean a lot of these events let's i mean a lot of it's pay to speak yeah. type yeah mm -hmm. Stuff. We're not doing that. So it's it's the marketing companies, it's the coach yeah. consultant mm -hmm. firm, it's the, you know, it's the, which it is what it is. Sure. But to to have people that have literally been there or are there now, yeah. give what they've learned, I think is going to be so much more valuable because they're in the moment or they've been in the moment within the recent past. So I think that's a really cool, really cool thing for for contractors to come. Let me and, tell you one listen. more thing about her because this is so good. They joined up. Service Nation Alliance, probably eight years ago now. And and Travis was not in favor. He goes, man, I'm, he's the guy that was in the field. He was working hard in the field. It's June in Indiana. The season's already started. She comes to a success day, signed up, and he goes, how are you going to pay for that? You, meaning yeah. her. She goes, I'm going to put it on my credit card. He goes, oh, okay, fine. So then she says, well, you, we got to go to boot camp. He says, we are not going to boot camp. You are going to go to boot camp if you want, because you made this decision. So he threw it right back at her. She goes to boot camp. They come back. They had a business doing about, I think, two and a half, three million then. They fired everybody. Wow. Fired them all. 
Was he now? Now did he go to boot camp too, or just her? No, just her. Just her. Oh, so she came back and fired everybody. She's and now really he's selling. he's going to really have to go back and. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to describe That's... how she sold him, but she sold him. On saying wow. we got to start over, we got to start over, and he's going, no, no, we can't. They did, they did, wow. and they built a business now that enables them to, as I said earlier, five million plus. 24% net. I hope she doesn't mind me sharing those numbers. Too late Traveling now. five months out of the year, going for six. So yeah. she's on That's a group well. with other business owners and everybody else in the group has sold. And, mm -hmm. and she saw that one day and she goes, what? What the what? what? What's going on here? And somebody asked her, you're going to sell too? And she goes, no, I'd be crazy to sell. Yeah. I've got a revenue stream that's amazing. <laughs> Right. So, well, let's let's be honest. If somebody offered me twenty million dollars, there's a lot that I can just not have to deal with anymore. Gersh, if I got that's that. correct. <laughs> Until you do the math, you I will math out. that thing to death. Yep. Yep. There's, there's some deductions. <laughs> from the other yeah. So, it's funny. We've had we actually had him on the show after he sold his business, Russell Fur. Oh yeah. He should. He, I've I've been following him on Facebook because I'm always curious what happens like yeah. after the sale, right? Like yeah. You're out of your business. What happens? He got stir crazy. Yeah. He's like, I, I've worked my whole life. Like I don't know what. I literally don't have purpose. I think he posted it this morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I had purpose, so I started a new business. Yeah, that's yep. exactly what happens. Yep. And it's like. So you either keep what you already know and love or like maybe you just transition into something that's new and then yeah. you've always wanted to do. Yeah. But either way, I think most people, even if they sell, they usually find something that you got to stay busy. Like yeah. you can't. I would sleep for a solid week. I mean, the, the first week after I got that check, I would sleep. Oh, Jamie too. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I do some traveling, but then it's like, well, what would I do after that? Sleep. Because you can't. I mean, what are you going to do? You still have a home. Like you still yeah. got stuff going on. Yeah, you know, I heard somebody yeah, you, said the other day where joy comes from. And it was so interesting. You know, it's like, hey, you know, happiness and joy is a choice. And they're like, no, yeah. joy and happiness. It's when you actually build something. Like it's building. It's the productivity of building creates that joy. And so these people, they sell out. And then it's like, hmm, I don't have yeah. anything that I'm building, right? The, the and dopamine. Then, I feel like same thing happens when people retire. Yeah. Uh, they yeah, Sometimes they these, some of these guys work forever and they, they're they like 90 years old and they're in great health. And it's like, holy crap, you're 90? And then people that are like 60, 65, they retire and they just fall. Like their health yeah. and everything just deteriorates so quickly because they just don't have anything to look forward well, to. Well, explain, like, explain that whole thought process about me then. Because I I woke up Thanksgiving morning and had a broken neck. Oh. Like, Whoa. Woke up out of you're bed. A different, you're a different case, buddy. <laughs> like, you break stuff all And then the go into surgery for neck surgery to have a my thing my disc replaced and break my hand the week before that. Man. Yeah. Were you I'm not it? I'm not 90. I'm not even close. <laughs> Wait, were you a motorcycle? I don't know how you break anything when you wear those fancy you suits. Know what it like... is. Josh should be stressing me out so much. <laughs> the headphones. <laughs> He's punching him on <laughs> weight. Yeah, pushing down the neck. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, this has been fun. <laughs> so if this is anything like Service World Expo and Business One Center is going to be, it's going to be exactly a blast. like it. Exactly. It's going to be it's going to be better. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I really am excited. Every time I've, I've been to either event, we've had a great time. Um, Daniel, is there anything else that we missed? I know that that. Um, you are, are beyond organized as far as guests go. Like every time you're like, Hey, let's talk about this. I, here's a list of things that we can talk about. I'm like, well, that's not really how things work typically with us. We just kind of <laughs> dive in rabbit holes, but it's, it's on the whiteboard right here. And some, a couple of things I'd still like <laughs> right up, to say, <laughs> right up there. I, I would like to still say that, uh, you know, when you guys asked mm -hmm. Jim about service world, something about business uncensored, and of course these just yes. marry so well together is that we spend extensive amounts of time, like months leading up to an event, crafting the agenda based on data from surveys. We do extensive surveys with contractors to find out what's going on, what's the pulse. I mean, we, we know at the new flat rate what's going on out there too, because we're doing ride alongs all the time and we're talking to people. Um, but we do all these surveys to find out like really what do we need next as an industry? And then we take that and we craft. And so this year on the Business Uncensored stage, 
it's not about us, you know, it's not about me speaking, you speaking. It's not polished contractor speaking. We're bringing people up. One of my favorite sessions, it's called the Real PPP, and it's pros passing out processes. So it's contractors that have written processes that have made a difference in their company, and they're bringing those to pass out the shares. It's not just theories. Right. It's not an idea. It's like, hey, this is what we did to solve this problem in our warehouse, or this is what we did to solve the problem in the office or on a service call. And here it is written out, T, you know, T's crossed, I's dotted, passing it out and sharing it with each other. And so we'll have a panel of contractors that it's not the same contractors that are always speaking either. So I'm real excited about that because I think it's going to come really uh, be, be some tangible value that, that we haven't seen at other shows. That's just one. You got another one, do you, don't you? I mean, I got three pages of them. <laughs> <laughs> you got a PowerPoint presentation, probably. <laughs> yeah. But so, you guys, it's going to be so fun. And then Business yes. Uncensored's all day Tuesday. We're starting early because we really wanted to be able to have the time to dive deep with people and do workshops. And so come early. It's for everybody. Like I said, it's yep. the two for one pass. You sign yep. up for Service World, you get the pass for everything that week. Let's all go golfing together on Monday. I'm going to play. Jim's going to play. Josh, Tersh. I mean, come on, guys. Let's go Good. play. I'll we invite everybody to play. Exactly. And then on Tuesday, we'll kick off and we'll do all day business uncensored. Tuesday night, service world party. Wednesday, yeah. we've got expo hall. We've got keynotes. It's it's just going to be a good week. But again, pick and choose. Don't go to everything. Pick and choose what you need. And um, it's going to be a real unfair advantage this year. So the DeLorean won't be there, I'm assuming. What's going to take its place? <laughs> What would you like? What would you like instead? Oh, I don't know. Mm, way to put me on the spot. Mm. A popcorn truck. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know. I have to come back with you on that one. I know because that I when they said Man, if you were on the we're East Coast, have... I would say our limo. That's uh, our our. Yeah, we got a limo that we're getting wrapped here. I haven't even told anybody this, but oh my gosh, yeah, it's. Can you uh, bring it? 53 inch mud tires <laughs> jacked up yeah let's, let's drive that's it right a long again. drive that's like a two-week drive <laughs> remember what i said earlier I know, about I'll not somebody to driving drive across country <laughs> yeah. like people would I'll still get ejecto seat out of the back of the limo you don't have to drive it i got a guy he'll drive probably, it probably well got a guy. there you go yeah, yeah i would say it's not legal but it's probably legal in all those states We'll get it over there. We'll drive it right in there. Park it right up there at the stage. I like that it. That would be cool. Oh, man. Yeah, when they said, hey, Danielle, we want to bring a DeLorean into Business Uncensored, I was like, eh, people aren't going to care about that, are they? They did. Yeah. <laughs> it was hey, fun. People, people put it on. But yeah. So many people. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I'm excited. I mean, I really am excited. I have, I've, we've made a lot of friends at these events, too, like people that yeah. we just see at the event every year. And um, mm -hmm. so that's, it's cool. I'm excited to come. Uh, awesome. What else we have? Um, Danielle, you have anything else? We went over the schedule, you know, bring more people. It's two for one. We do have a promo code and it's so important guys. Uh, let, let us help save you. So if you go to sign up, the promo code is BU 2023 and tell them I sent you. Jim sent you too. We sent you. And uh, BU 2023 so that you can get the best rate when you sign up. And uh, and we want to help you to be able to bring more people this year. So, so you get full That's access awesome. and, uh, and, a, and a great rate. We've got a discounted rate as well on the website up through June 30th. I keep looking at the calendar. But. Yeah, and it's only, what is it, the 15th today? So yeah. shoot, let's, yeah, we let's got start time. signing up. Let, and let's start signing up. You considerable money so at one point awesome. danielle was talking about exhibitors is it okay just to yeah i was going to ask you because uh, on the fancy list that danielle sent over to me you're supposed to talk about exhibitors good okay <laughs> over over 200 exhibitors okay so we got a huge but one i'm really excited about iheart radio iheart radio cool yeah yeah they're a new partner with us Actually, we're doing a success day with them down in Tampa, but that's another subject completely. But they are connected. They own the market in about 300 cities across the United States. They own Country Western 
rock and roll, hard rock, soft rock, talk radio, all the stations. They've got it. They say they've got 167 million people connected with either a cell phone, a tablet, a laptop, some kind of a music producing device yeah. across the nation. They also, a uh, little known fact here, uh, they have podcasts as well, and we're on it. Oh, me. Yeah. I was going to say that. Now I'm. I'm oh, my bad. I've been, Danielle didn't put it on the list over here. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. It's all right. My bad. <laughs> they, are, they are very good at what they do, and they're a brand new company. So, yeah, yeah. We're, we're enthused. There's, there's three more, but I can't tell you who they are. But oh. Got to come. Man, that's a cliffhanger. cliffhanger. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you shared that. That'll be good. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's going to be an event. And you know what everybody says every year? We hear this all the time. I'm going to wait and I'm going to register closer to so I know what's going on in my business. Yeah. yeah. And that is a Putting reactionary mindset. Mm -hmm. That's reactionary. That's not entrepreneur mindset. That's not being an owner. So we need to look ahead, pre-plan your October, put it on the calendar, and then you've got all this time to make sure mm -hmm. that things yeah. are running like you need them to be so you can step away for one week. But Let's you go also, away for one week together. It, it creates a leverage in your, your mind as well because you've yeah. already paid for everything. You've paid, you booked your flight, you booked your <laughs> hotel. Uh, and so that's, a, that's a, the investment that you've put towards mm -hmm. that. Then mentally, you know, hey, I'm going to go here. I have to. I have to make sure the business is good before I leave. So mm -hmm. then it forces you yeah. with that leverage um, to, to make sure that things are either going to run or either the place is going to burn down while you're gone. <laughs> sometimes it's, sometimes you just like, all right, screw it. It's gonna <clears throat> we'll yeah. rebuild. That's funny. We'll rebuild with all the, the great information that I get from the event. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, we, awesome. we really appreciate hanging out with you guys and gals. Um, anybody that's listening to the show and you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to, to Jim or Danielle, uh, Jim's cell phone number is, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, but for real, <laughs> reach out to them, uh, serviceworldexpo.com. I just want to make sure I had the right email, uh, website. Sure. And, um, if you have any questions for me or Josh, uh, just, uh, call Josh and, <laughs> uh, his cell phone number. Yeah. yeah, his cell phone number. I will give his cell phone number out for real. <laughs> <laughs> I know you will. Uh, but I, honestly, I, I appreciate everybody hanging out with us. And, and until we talk again next time, I hope you have a safe and wonderful week. And thank you again for hanging out with us on the Service Business Mastery Podcast. We'll see you later. Thanks, Are you looking for valuable business advice to reach that seven figure revenue mark? Do you want actionable tips to properly navigate through every business challenge you encounter along the way? Let Tersh Blissett and Josh Crouch be your guide in getting you to the top here at Service Business Mastery. Tune in as they sit down with world-renowned authors in business, leadership, and personal growth who share valuable insights about management, marketing, pricing, human resources, and so much more. Let their nuggets of wisdom gold guide you in owning a thriving, profitable, and ever-growing business. Here are your hosts, Tersh and Josh. <laughs>